roadmap to calculus. A roadmap. A step-by-step -step guide to go from basically nothing to learning calculus. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. I'm going to give you the steps that you can follow one at a time to get better. This video is motivated by a question I received from someone who is learning mathematics. They've started from the very beginning and they are trying to get to calculus. They're trying to turn their mathematical life around and just get better. So I'm going to start this video by reading this email I received. It's a great email. That's why I wanted to make this video. Also, this person's already started. Like they've already started working on their journey, as you'll see. And I'm also going to give you a shortcut. A shortcut that you can take to start learning calculus today. That's right. You can actually jump into it without a lot of the prereq knowledge. All right. Let's go ahead and start right away. The person's name is Maya. And the subject is Roadmap to Calculus. Hello, Math Sorcerer. I want to say thank you for all the videos you share on YouTube because I have been crunching them and they really help motivate me to do math and sparked a curiosity about STEM and me that I lost long ago. My name is Maya and I'm a 27-year-old aspiring to start learning electrical engineering. I have been out of school for almost 10 years now and I'm a different human being than I was when I was at school and I had the worst grades. Teachers even did me a favor by giving me the minimum passing score. I was that bad of a student. But after experiencing life, I realized that it would be a shame to waste my curiosity about the STEM field since I was always curious about how things work on the inside, even as a child. I used to get into trouble for breaking toys when I wanted to find out how they worked. Anyhow, I've been following your advice about picking up any book and just doing math, and I've been doing that consistently since the beginning of 2024. I'm currently following a pre-algebra book that I found online, and it's been going well, and I've been studying two to three and a half hours a day. I'm curious for your advice on a general direction to follow, okay, if possible, I'd appreciate it. If you could recommend some books, and I'm a bit confused on how to get equipped with the relevant knowledge to actually understand and learn calculus. Thank you so much for any response in advance and keep being awesome. Love your vids. So thank you so much, Maya, for sending me this message. I, I do have an answer for you and I think it's going to help you a lot, a lot, a lot. And I think it can help a lot of people. And so I thought, let me just make this quick video to talk about it. So to learn calculus, you need to know some math, right? So Maya's already learning pre-algebra. So let's just say you are beyond that and you've, you've got pre-algebra down, you know some basic math. The next thing you want to do is go to college algebra. Okay, College algebra is basically like pre-algebra, except it's got a lot more topics and it's a lot harder. So the books I'm going to recommend in this video are books that I typically don't talk about. I always recommend the same books. I wanted to pick some different ones. So I thought, why not? These are great books. I've read portions of them. I've done several problems from these books. They're awesome. So starting off with a decent college algebra book, it's pretty good. It's College Algebra Essentials by Julie Miller. It's actually not decent, it's a great book. It's a very, very good book. I'm just gonna smell it. Ah, oh, smells amazing. So I recommend this one. I'll leave links in the description of this video to all of these books. So here's a good book that you can use for college algebra. Once you learn college algebra, once you have stronger algebra skills, typically you have to take uh, pre-calc and trig. Now to learn pre-calc and trig, you can use one book, and that one book would be something like this one. This is uh, Algebra and Trig by Sullivan, and again, I'll leave a link. Books like this are used in colleges to teach pre-calc and trig. So with a book like this, that will take you to the next level. So College Algebra, Pre-calc and Trig, and then for step three uh, is to get to calculus, right? So for calculus, there's all kinds of books you can use. I wanted to pick one that I think is really good that I usually don't talk about. It's this one here. It's Calculus and Analytic Geometry by Stein. I don't know if I'll be able to find copies of this one, but hey, it's just as good as the other big, thick calculus books, and it's awesome. So that's the typical, the typical path that you'd want to take, especially since you're trying to become uh, an engineering major, Maya, is college algebra, pre-calc trig, and then you can jump into calc. But I promised you that there's a way to skip all that. So something you can do 
that I think will make your journey more interesting and more enjoyable is to actually try to start learning calculus right now. And that's a bold move because in order to do that, you do need to have some college algebra skills. But you can actually jump into calculus right now without knowing any trig. And so my advice would be to get this book if you can find it. And I will try to leave a link in the description. Brief Applied Calculus by Beersford and Rocket. I love this book because it is super easy. This is the easiest calculus book in the world, in my opinion. It is so easy because it's meant for people who just know basic algebra. There's no trig required. There's no pre-calc required. It's just a basic calculus book that's written for like business majors. It's got some pretty hard business applications and stuff. It's got some interesting stuff that you won't find in those big thick calculus books like the ones by Stein. So if you already know calculus, there's still a lot to gain from a book like this. Uh, one thing being that it's gonna make you feel really smart because a lot of the problems, they're not that difficult. And it'll make your math stronger because you can go through and just grind through lots of problems, right? You can get through a lot of it. This actually has topics that are taught in Calc 1, Calc 2, and Calc 3 in this thin little book. So it's a way to jump into calculus without all of the background knowledge. Now, as an engineering major, you're going to need that background knowledge, so you still want to learn pre-calc and trig, but those are some decent books that I would recommend to you that you could use, and you can buy them used. I'll leave links and just look for used copies uh, in those links, and that can help you quite a bit, Maya. I think it's good you're going back. I think it's awesome. Um, I think you're making a really good choice. I, you, know, you, you mentioned you don't want to go through life because you have this curiosity and you feel like it's a waste not to explore it. I agree, right? I agree. You might as well do what you can and, yeah, explore what you love and, and do mathematics. Oh, another way, obviously, is to take courses. I obviously have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, which is a reputable place to have courses. But if you get them, please use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com. Uh, for one, it helps me greatly. And two, I've lowered the prices on all of my courses to the bare minimum that Udemy lets me. So when you click the link from my website, you should always get a very low price. But yeah, hopefully this can help you, Maya. So college algebra, pre-calc trig, calculus, and you're there. Those are the three books you need. A college algebra book, a pre-calc trig book, and a calculus book. It doesn't have to be these. You can just get any books, but I'll leave links for those. And if you want to cheat and get ahead and just start doing calculus today or tomorrow or whenever you get the book, see if you can find this one. This one's a little bit more expensive, I think, though, because it's not that popular. You see, there's not that many people that use a book like this. This is a book that I used to teach in college, uh, a course called Concepts of Calculus for, for many years. And it was one of my favorite courses to teach because you get to teach calculus to people who... I mean, they just know a little bit of algebra, right? They, they've just made it through college algebra. Maybe, maybe they barely made it through college algebra. Maybe, maybe they got a C, right? Cs get degrees. So you get students in there who have really weak algebra skills and you have to teach them calculus. Boom! Talk about an explosion, right? I mean, it's fun. I enjoy that. I like, I like teaching math to people who aren't good at math or people who don't know a lot of math. It's, it's, it's cool. I don't know. There's something about seeing people rise from the ashes and learn something that's difficult you know, despite having a very bad background. I think that's cool. I think it's cool when people who come from a weak math background can actually learn math. And you get a lot of students in classes like this, again, who, who just barely know algebra and they're trying to learn calculus. Also, this book is remarkably well. It explains things really well. It's got really good examples, um, both conceptually and computationally. Uh, in fact, when, I, when I've taught calculus, I take things that I've learned from that book and I share them with my regular Calc 1 students just to show them, you know, different perspectives because it has different exercises than, you know, the book from, from Stein and the book from Stewart and the book from Larson. It's got different types of problems, so it can, it can help you even if you already know calculus. So I recommend that book to everyone out there, even if you're already a calculus master. It's, um, it's one that's pretty awesome. The big challenge with that book, again, is finding it, the price, uh, again, um, it, it probably wasn't mass produced as much as some of the other books out there because again, not that many people take those courses. So yeah. Anyways, hopefully this has helped someone out there who is trying to figure out, you know, how to, how to learn calculus. What is the right path? I'll leave links to all the books and you can check out my courses as well if you want, but hopefully this helps someone and hopefully it helps you Maya who uh, you're getting back into mathematics, starting from pre-algebra, 
with a goal of learning calculus, which is pretty cool. If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay too. The key takeaway that you take away from this video is that anyone can learn math, right? You can do it. Keep doing mathematics.